There's a lot of bad information online right now. He went off a cliff. He just doesn't look healthy. <laughs> Traditional Albanian food. That's the bachelor party. <laughs> Meat with cheese. That light's red, but Kate went anyway, so I'm gonna follow her. Lasagna, Albanian style. Today we're trying bunk out too. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? We're at the bus station waiting for a bus to country number. You know, it's easier doing that than remembering exactly which country this is. This is the ticket office at the bus station. Most options are not available online currently. There's only one bus to Tirana. There's a lot of rubbish on. <laughs> They're doing construction. It was just way too noisy over there. What Katie was saying is there's a lot of bad information online right now about schedulings and timings. Go to the bus station, ask them when it leaves, buy the ticket directly from them. Otherwise, you might wind up here at the wrong time. This is way better than I thought it was gonna be. A lady at the counter told us, oh, don't worry, you don't have to buy it. Nobody will be on the bus. And we're like, okay. Sure enough, it's just us and uh, Ernest from Singapore. Nice kid we met at the bus stop. Hi everyone in Singapore. I'm here in uh, Kotor, heading to Tirana. Nice to meet you. Just meeting people at the bus stop. I've warned you about that. I know. Should be about a six hour ride and we will be in... Tirana. Yes. If you never see this video, it's because we went off a cliff on the way. So anyways, <laughs> good travels. <laughs> We just got stamped out of Montenegro. Now we're in a long line to get into Albania. The lake alongside this is beautiful. The drive has been spectacular. We made it through and now we're in Albania. It was an easy crossing. They didn't check our form that we paid the visa for. They checked Chris's COVID and they didn't check mine. They didn't care. So he just doesn't look healthy. <laughs> about 45 minutes. We stopped for 45 minutes for a meal break. When we heard our meal break was at some random roadside joint in the Albanian countryside, we thought we were gonna need Alka-Seltzer and antibiotics, but as it turned out... Oh, that's wonderful. Well, we went to the last town, right at the grocery store, there was a whole bunch of goats out front. And then in the kids' playground, there was a herd of horses. I like turtles. So that was entertaining. Hopefully we'll be in Toronto in the next couple of hours. With full bellies and sun streaming through the windows, it was a bit of a struggle to stay awake for the rest of the trip, but at least one of us managed. After a beautiful but very long day on the road, we made it to Tirana. And boy, did we score <laughs> on this Airbnb. Oh, his and hers couch. That's gonna be nice. Enormous big screen television and this kitchen. I could do some serious cooking, but I've heard you will never cook in your place because the food here is fantastic and very plentiful. Let's go see the bedroom. How you doing? Oh, wow, that's very firm. But I think it's gonna be comfortable. And the blanket. <laughs> Let's hope they have another one. Oh, they do. <laughs> you can't have a couch and snuggle without another blanket. Now let me show you the bathroom. Washer, dryer, combo, bidet. This is huge. And it's only $40 a night. Let's go outside and get us some food. Yes! Pizza in any form is always the tired traveler's best friend. It was really cool crossing the border from Montenegro into Albania. You could instantly see the change in buildings. There were just all these castles, some large, some small, and a bunch of mosques, and the whole landscape changed. Really beautiful crossing. Definitely suggest doing it via bus. Not sure if you can see it, but the pedestrian light light up the whole pole. And the traffic lights do the same thing, and you can see them for miles. We heard from other travelers how warm, inviting, and fashionable Toronto was. That has definitely been our experience. As soon as we got here and got off the bus, we wandered around a little bit last night. Everybody's so nice. This city has really got it going on. Skanderbrook Square is kind of the center of town. And that's what we're walking across now. There's the opera over here. There's the cathedral over there. Museum we'll get behind us. Museum <laughs> behind us. And the tiles are just beautiful walking across here. The weather, as you can tell, is absolutely gorgeous today because I've already shed my coat. It's gonna be close to 70 degrees. Which after the winter we've been through, it's welcome. We're gonna get out to exploring this amazing city by foot. But first, we're gonna go get something to eat and I know just the place. I read a lot of reviews and saw a lot of people on YouTube highly recommending this place. It's traditional Albanian food. So it turns out they don't open until noon. So we're gonna explore a bit. The traffic and parking police are very active. We're not driving here, but if you are, be advised. I can't call you back. This is Tanner Bridge and it is the oldest structure in Albania. It's from the Ottoman era of the 1700s. 
all the pictures I've seen were famed with the woods right there. So I thought you it was peaceful in the woods. Nope, right in the middle of town. <laughs> This is the Toptani walking street. It's got lots of cafes, tree-lined, and it's got a mall at the very end. But it's very peaceful. I like it. Also handy note, there is free Wi-Fi throughout the city. This is a beautiful street. All the trees are wrapped up in this fabric, and they've got these beautiful flowers. I've got to check it out and figure out why. I'll have to Google Translate this uh, wording on the top. Maybe that guy with his horn is trying to tell you. Shh. <laughs> well, we toured tour long enough. Oh, this open. This is gonna be good, I can already tell. We told her this is our first real meal in Albania, so she's just gonna prepare some traditional specialties and bring a little bit of everything out to us. Really looking forward to this. <laughs> first plate, it's buttermilk, it's yogurt, salt, and water. Oh, that's very salty. Ooh, that makes you pucker. I like that. I really like it. That is called fregues. It comes with bread, and this bread is amazing. Homemade. She said I can't eat very much bread. That's delicious. It's cottage cheese and peppers. So good and hot. That is amazing. She warned us, don't eat it all because you won't finish the rest of the meal. Let's see if we can take the Pepsi challenge. This is chief chi rice balls. Oh, and those are lima beans. Those are warm lima beans that have garlic and it tastes like butter and herbs. Those are really good. Oh, that is mint. Those are very fragrant. It tastes flowery. Those are good. This one is right there because I cannot even come close to pronouncing it. Stuffed eggplant and stuffed peppers. Oh! That is really good. Sauteed vegetables and eggplant. Tastes exactly as it sounds, but it is delicious. Pepper stuffed with rice. As it has a light flavor, you really taste the pepper. We better hurry up and eat this because we haven't gotten to the meat yet and uh, our table's full. This is called cheese, it, cheese. it's lamb. And she said you eat with your fingers, but that is warm. That's good lamb. She told us to eat with our fingers, so we're just following the rules. The meal was fantastic. You could tell everything was really homemade and the recipes have been around forever. I highly recommend this place. <laughs> Party. We knew we had to get out and walk around the city a bit more because if we went home, we'd both be in a food coma until tomorrow. That is the Tirana Pyramid. It's a building built in like the early 90s that looks like a pyramid. That's all we know about that. <laughs> While Mother Teresa, now known as St. Teresa of Calcutta, was not born here, she was ethnic Albanian and they are rightfully quite proud of her around these parts. Just outside downtown in Tirana is a giant man-made lake. It's a real hub of social activity. There's places to work out, there's hiking trails, biking trails, amphitheaters, restaurants. We're not sure how far around it is yet, but it is far. Anybody can check and see how far it is. So we're just gonna walk and see if we die before it ends. I saw a bathroom at the beginning. I think that was the only bathroom. <laughs> there's lots of trees. And there's lots of benches. <laughs> They're very comfortable too. Tonight we're trying Albanian oh, pizza. Oh, it's really hot. The onions are really crunchy. This is really good. This pizza was excellent. The toppings were really, really fresh. Come here. You won't be disappointed. Last night, that pizza was amazing. Afterwards, we just went back to the apartment and rested for a while. Katie's discovered a big bazaar for us to go check out. If they don't have food, we'll just shop and then we'll go find another delicious restaurant to experience. Sounds like a good plan. When I was looking up this place, they said that it's great for picking up food. place to come. Well, that was a lot smaller than I thought. There's a lot of tobacco. Let's keep wandering. We're headed back to Oda. I forgot my reading glasses. They don't open till noon, but I'm hoping somebody will be there and hopefully they found my reading glasses. <laughs> Luckily, the place had my glasses. 
buses. Welcome to the International Bus Station. Thankfully, our friends Connor and Libby, who you just saw probably in our last video, just came through this place and they alerted us. This just in. There are two different bus stations. It's important to go to the international bus station or the domestic bus station based on where you're traveling. They're quite a distance apart. And we're just about to get run over. We'll step over here. Jesus. Apparently it's always a good time for motherfuckers to throw firecrackers around here. So I'm gonna take a breath and I'll get back with you in a minute. Serenity now! Are you supposed to yell it? The man on the tape wasn't specific. Don't trust the information online. Come down, talk to the drivers, talk to the offices, find out the times, and you'll get to where you're going. We're gonna go to Macedonia, then to Kosovo. After talking to everybody, we want the big bus. So we're gonna go to Kosovo first. Yeah. Stay tuned to see if this all really happens the way we think it is. Oh, and we're about to get run over again, so we'll just wander up this way. We're trying capital chicken and meat. Had a lot of good reviews. That's a good enough reason as any. It was a little loud in there to talk. Two full meals and drinks and a salad. Yeah, it was $13. It's a little trendy, but it was fun. And the people were so nice. The guy next to us was uh, helping us with everything. The food was good. I'd give it about an eight. The meat was tender. The salad was very nice and fresh. It was an eggplant salad with yogurt. I liked it. This place that was absolutely packed today at lunch. So we're going here tonight. It's another traditional Albanian place. That place ended up being more of a fast food place, so we're gonna check another place out. Well, this looks promising. With a name like Timmy! It has to be good, right? Canadian tuxedo seats. Pick up brings to a nicer table. Meat with cheese. This place was wonderful. We had liver and cheese bubbling hot, and I'm not the biggest fan of liver, but it was fantastic. These places are all over Toronto. We have to try one. I uh, may be failing at my mission to stop bringing Kate random cinnamon rolls. It's dense. I'm not sure I like this. It's got apple in the middle of it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's strong coffee. This is excellent. Camera's still over here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I always look over there. I don't know why. I can't help myself. All of this was $5. That coffee was fantastic, but boy, we were up all night. <laughs> Those frappuccinos were like espresso with ice and a little whipped cream on top. But oh, dang, so they were good. <laughs> yeah, they were really good. A couple of you have asked how you can send us stuff since we're always on the road all the time. We signed up on Buy Me A Coffee. So there you go. If you want to buy us a coffee, you can buy us a coffee. And we put the link right there or, you know, somewhere. Or up there, there or up there, just depending yeah, on where. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so if you're going to the cable cars, you go to their website, Go to the very bottom, it says how to get here. They have a video, it's perfect. You almost can't get lost. And it's only 40 leap, which is about 30 cents. They drop you right in front of Bunk Art One. So let's go. That light's red, but Kate went anyway, so I'm gonna follow her. That's kind of what I do. There's stairs leading down into the darkness. This is the price list. It is okay. 500 like okay. a person, so that's like 450. Here are the rooms so far, Dictator and Roja. You're going down in the second one and. Three times to watch his head. And that was much appreciated. Why do you still hurt? Who's wrong and who's right? I cannot decide. Cause I'm sober tonight. I ain't gonna lie, I have no idea what the hell they're trying to portray in there, but it feels like a haunted and it probably should, considering the history they're talking about. Another room where I'm not quite sure what they're trying to portray. All of these stickers are just names of video games. Something that's sad and interesting about the history of Albania from 75 to 83, they built over 170,000 bunkers as the national defense plan. Approximately one bunker for every 11 residents in the entire country. Lots of soldiers, workers, and other people died while digging the tunnels. Because of that, to this day, all of Albania is covered in these bunkers. 
Well, this room isn't so bad. Next time you're thinking about living in a bunker, think of this. Little known but horrifying fact. They have lots of bats down here. Still rolling the dice. Still open to find a few. They go to the tower right about there. We went to Bunk Art One. It's huge. Bunk Art One is more for the army. Yeah, they got the chief of staff of the military in there. I didn't really care for it. I'm more into the secret police and the recording devices and more of the stuff. There's a lot of stuff in there where they've kind of tried to make it an art project. Yeah, I wasn't really into that. I would say unless you just like really want to see a bunker, you could probably do something else. We were going to take the cable car and the Dike T Express to go up to the tower. But the main thing for to that is to take pictures and it's really cloudy today or smog. Well, that's like 10 bucks a person, so we're just going to take a pass. We're going to walk back to the square. I have been craving pasta, so we have gotten lasagna Albanian style. And a Greek salad. Look at that. Oh wow, it's different. That is good. It has a creaminess to it. Like they took a red sauce, but also put like a goat cheese with minced meat. It's very light and creamy at the same time and good. I'm happy. Tonight's snack sampling are barbecue Doritos. Ew. Oh, we're gonna have a terrible aftertaste. Yeah, no, they're disgusting. Good thing they're Chris's. Yesterday we did Bunk Art 1. Today we're trying Bunk Art 2. It had more to do with what uh, the secret police did to the people. And I'd say it was uh, darker. It yeah. really got to you. If you were going to do one, I would say do Bunk Art 2, this one. Yeah, I just think I would go get perked up. <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, depressing. definitely a little depressing. So, yeah. Coffee and food. Albanian chip taste test. Lay's is like Kit Kats. They have these bizarre flavors. Today we found oregano, tzatziki, and cheese. And we threw it at the end, some pretzels and butter popcorn. I had to try the pretzels. Our bus driver decided that he was going to eat these pretzels the entire ride. And as some of you know, I'm very sensitive people chewing. Was it like a little annoying or is it like when Phoebe chews her hair? <laughs> Start to finish, six plus hours. Uh, oregano. Right, oregano. Now I gotta make sure I don't smack. They're good. Tzatziki. Tastes pretty much like tzatziki to me. Is the aftertaste, yeah. I think they'd be good Since together. Had that today. Third one is the cheese. Maybe fake cheese. Yeah. Actually, I thought those were gonna be the best ones. Now for the Mr. Noise. I'm gonna check the Taze butter popcorn. Dry air pop popcorn with nothing on it. How boring. If I had to eat one, I'm gonna go with tzatziki. What are you picking? I'm gonna mix the oregano and the tzatziki together and make them both better. Seven. Addition by multiplication. That's true. But I'm, I'm gonna eat these actually really good pretzels. Tell the truth, now what you're gonna do is put on your jammies because we're gonna turn off the Yes. Bye, Bye. night. <laughs> Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Click the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Please don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell. It sounds silly. It's free to you, but it really does help our channel grow. So we appreciate you all so much. Thank you. And we're off for a daily adventure.